Hello, my name is Elise and I'm low-key in my pajamas right now because it's midnight and I'm not planning to film this whole video tonight, but I thought I might as well get it started. Yes, I'm at the point where I don't care if I am in Hello Kitty pajamas on camera. But yeah, <laughs> this is going to be a bookshelf reorganization video. Uh, it's probably going to take place over a couple days because it's gonna take a while. But yeah, I am going to take every single book off of these shelves and then I'm gonna build another bookshelf. So yeah, it's a bookshelf reorganization plus bookshelf building video. Um, I'm gonna have three of these exact bookshelves. I'm gonna finally remove that stack of school papers that I don't know what to do with. And low key, I think I'm going to take my TBR cart and the plan is to either, I'm not sure. Uh, I've acquired many craft supplies in the past few months. So I'm thinking of maybe either turning the bottom two uh, shelves into like a craft container and then have the top is my TBR shelf on the cart, or I might just make the whole thing storage. It depends on how full or empty my three bookshelves end up looking so we'll see how that goes um i guess the first task tonight is gonna be remove all of this i have no idea how much i'm gonna show on camera because this is like the third time i've reorganized my bookshelf oh i don't know if you just heard my knee crack that was it's late guys um <laughs> i forgot what i was saying i this is gonna be a rambly video it's gonna be messy you're just gonna have to deal with that but yeah i don't know how much i'm gonna show on camera because this is my third time filming a bookshelf reorganization um and like every time i film videos like this and i like have a time lapse of me taking all my stuff off my shelves i have like 10 million minutes of footage and it stresses me out so yeah we'll see how this goes but Again, it's midnight. First task is to is to remove everything, and then, yeah, I guess I'll build the shelves. Um, as you can tell, I'm very tired right now, um, but I just know like this has been on my to do list forever. I've had the IKEA shelf sitting on my bedroom floor forever now, and it's time to finally get it off my floor because I keep tripping on it. Uh, when I remove the books off my shelf, I'm gonna try to order them in some way, like organize them on the floor so that way I know how to put them on my shelves. I think the goal right now is to still maintain like a rainbow thing like I have up here. I don't know if I'll have enough books for that because I'm not separating series to get the rainbow effect. That's only books that I have one in the series or they're standalones. But yeah, if I have enough for that, I'll do the rainbow on top. And then I hate doing this, but I think all the other shelves are just going to be kind of random. I don't like that kind of organization, but the aesthetic of the rainbow is really appealing to me. And my opinion on bookshelves has changed recently. I think that books are just decorations if you're not reading them, because what purpose do they serve besides being looked at, you know? So yeah, I will stop rambling because I'm tired and I want to listen to music while I take these off. So update eventually. <laughs> Actually, let me do like a before and after. Um, so here's the shelf right now. We got the rainbow. We have my plants and some books. Yep. And then I can't believe I'm bringing you to the messy corner of my room, but we have the TBR cart. I don't know what to do with my stack of book of the month thingies. Uh, I have some candles I'm planning on putting up there and this hat um, from Percy Jackson that I'm gonna put there. And again, I cannot believe I am showing this on, on camera, but I just filmed a book haul. And for some reason, I decided to put the books on my bed as I was filming because that was just the closest surface. So now my bed looks like this. So yeah, I'm going to have to deal with all of that. So here is my nonfiction stack of books. You know, we got a lot of memoirs. We have books about race. We have other history books, whatever. I can't see what I'm pointing to right now, but I'm so excited to add my Dan and Phil box set to my stack of nonfiction because that's what it is. So my bookshelf is currently naked besides for that one plant that I cannot reach. 
But yeah, here is Billy and all its naked glory. And then here is the absurd amount of books on my floor. If you see a bunch of socks in the corner, you're just gonna have to ignore that. And then I have books here. All this was like stuff on the bottom of my shelf. You'd think if I'm filming at midnight, it would be quiet, but my brother is screaming and playing harmonica. All right, just pretend there's not harmonica in the background. So here are the two bookshelves right now. I'm going to move my TBR cart, which has many things besides books to be read on there. Um, I have to figure out what to do with my stack of book of the month boxes. And then I have to put all of these random papers somewhere, but otherwise I'm gonna scoot this all over and build another shelf right there. So me being me, while my dad and I were building the shelves, I fell and I fell butt first right on top of my shelf. So now, where is it? There is a crack on my shelf where you can't really see. There she is. Uh, it's not terrible and I'm putting a shelf right here so it'll be kind of covered but just the fact that I fell and cracked my bookshelf says a lot about me. I put on the flash for extra dramatic effect but I put the shelf on and you can still see the crack in all its glory but the good news is that's like the bottom part of the shelf so there'll be books there so hopefully I can't see it. <laughs> My dad is laughing at me for falling on top of the bookshelf. My brother just laughed at me too for falling through my bookshelf. He's laughing at me right now. I'm not gonna put him on camera, but he's, he's laughing at me. Currently standing on top of a chair, wiping down my shelves. And unfortunately, if you can see, hold on, I might figure out how to point my camera. Oh, you can't see, hold on. There's a leaf right there from the plant that's usually up there. Um, and I can't reach it, so I do not know what to do with that one leaf just hanging out in the middle of my shelf. Pulling out the big ladder to get the leaf that is all the way up there. I'm not usually up here because, like, this is the ceiling right there. Um, I'm usually short and all the way down there. But now that I'm up here for the first time, I'm actually seeing the top shelf for the first time. And it's come to my attention like it's all like dirty because I always miss this when I clean stuff down because I can't reach it. But it's come to my attention that when we built these shelves, we put the top shelf on upside down because these are the old ones and you can see the screw thingies. But you can't see them on my new shelf because we actually put them on right. So I get a lot of judgment from my friends because I am <laughs> a really messy, unorganized person and... I kind of just never throw things away. Like, if you give me something, I'm gonna be keeping it for probably the rest of my life. So if you've ever given me something like when I was a kid, I probably still have it. And now that I had to move everything so that I could put the shelves up so I'd have room, um, <laughs> I'm just surrounded in by stuff right now because yeah, I had to move it instead of like in its nice neat corner. Let me just, I can't believe I'm exposing myself like this, but let me just real quick give you a tour. Y'all can fully judge me for my room. Here we have one of like three stacks of schoolwork. All the notebooks, all the folders, literally I've never thrown anything away. This is just from high school and maybe a bit of college. Um, I got more papers over here and more papers here and so much more in here. There's a book on the floor. There's actually many books on the floor. Um, here is my stack of cardboard boxes. I never throw them away, mainly because sometimes I'll, you know, ship things to people, like if I'm getting rid of books, and I'm like, yeah, why not keep the boxes? Um, but they're just sitting in a messy pile in my room. Got a random guitar here. I got a guitar in my bed right now. We have my cart full of yarn and candles. I don't even want you to see the rest. Let me cover it. But here is my table with, oh my God, this is embarrassing. Um, we have books, we have abandoned music lesson book things. These are all the knickknacks that are on my shelf. And look at my floor right now. Oh my gosh, don't look at my bed, that's so embarrassing. Um, 
let's cover that so messy my pillowcase even wasn't even on my pillow that's so sad okay we're ending this i strategically moved my comforter so you couldn't see oh my gosh now i still have the socks on the floor oh my gosh um i'm really exposing the way i live but i just wanted to show my stacks here i am hoping i don't point to the camera to something messier than ah oh, there's the sock pile ignore that um uh, but yeah um I forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, so we have different piles and I tried to organize them by how I want to put them on the shelf. So I have like my color stacks, like the blue, here's yellow, green, that's barely yellow, but whatever, purple. And then I tried to do things like here are some series or here's like nonfiction books. But yeah, hopefully they will fit. Well, I mean, they're obviously gonna fit on my shelf, but hopefully they will look okay on my shelf. My mom just came in my room and said there looks like there's a body in my bed, so I don't know what she's implying. Um, but bad news, y'all, I just dropped the stack. There is stuff everywhere, but there was already stuff everywhere, so I guess it doesn't really make a difference. Okay, throwback to when I cracked my shelf with my butt by falling on, on it. Somehow I cracked the wheel off of this cart. So now everything's just sliding off of it. Um, I don't know what to do with it. This was not oh come on look at look at it slowly following falling i mean ah oh, this was not in the agenda it's literally midnight why do i take on these tasks so late at night all the time shelves are officially up that means i can start putting the books on there i don't know if i'll finish because it's like midnight right now and i have to be at work at 7 45 in the morning except i have to walk to work and also it's going to be pouring rain when i walk so that'll be fun but i just wanted to do this really quickly They are so big and I am so small. The goal was to put rainbow organization across the top because I just think it looks snazzy when I'm filming booktube videos. However, I filled the first shelf and I'm already halfway through the rainbow and I still have two shelves left. So I'm not entirely sure how that's gonna work. Also, I barely have any orange books. So I really just put whatever I could there but this color is bothering me. That feels like that is not the correct transition, but you know, it's cool. I'm really bad at ordering things by colors, so if you think I should switch any books, please let me know. All right, so I finished the rainbow part. I don't know, well, I think it looks like a rainbow. Uh, I have to improvise, improvise towards the end. Oh, I can't point, there we go. I barely had any purple, so <laughs> like my sad purple pink section. And then I did some white, gray, brown, black because I didn't know what to put in this last section. I really just threw whatever I could. And then, oh gosh, I'm gonna fall. Um, I barely had any greens and I was kind of hoping I could organize the rest of my shelf with some kind of order like I was going to try to do by genre which is really me branching out I used to only do alphabetical by author's last name but yeah my problem here is that every almost all of my green books are classics and I have an arc here uh and those were two sections I wanted on my bookshelf so and it's, it's just like in the green and I kind of want to take those off so I can put them on the sections on my bookshelf but like I have no replacement greens, so if anyone wants to buy me some green books, you know, feel free. But yeah, I'm gonna decide if I just shove some more blues, because this whole shelf is just like a tiny section of green, a very bright green, and then like various shades of blue. So I don't know, maybe last minute I will change it so that I take those green ones off so I can have my genre sections completed, and then I'll just have a lot of blues. But I feel like that's gonna look less rainbowy, so maybe not. I will decide as I put more stuff on the shelf. I just looked at my books and apparently I do have quite a few more green books, but they're all part of a series and I'm not about to separate series. If you see any books up here that are part of series, that means I only own one book in the series because there's no way I am allowing myself to separate series on my bookshelf. Slight change, y'all gotta tell me if this looks bad or not because I literally cannot tell. But I had like the gold books at the end here, but I decided to put the gold in the middle, like transitioning from the orange and then, yeah, because I have these like weird yellow books that are kind of yellowish. They're also almost like a 
fluorescent green, but I feel like that looks slightly better into the transition into this ridiculously bright green book. Um, I feel like this one sticks out a lot, but also, again, my green department is lacking, so we're just gonna leave it. So this is my shelf of my favorite series. Low-key, it's a little problematic, and so is the author slash authors, because there's some shady ghostwriting business. It's a whole drama of, like, the main dude, like, not paying people, whatever. That's not important unless you're interested in this series. But I've been collecting these books since I was a little kid, and, like, I've been buying the books as they've been released. Uh, someone on my channel, it was TB, if you're watching, hello, <laughs> thought that these were all, like, the same book. These are all different books, okay? And I am very impressed that they fit perfectly on my shelf. Look at that. I don't know if I'm digging the candles. They kind of look awkward, but if I keep the candles, it makes it so it fits exactly. This bothers me, but the only reason it's like that is because I own two of these copies and like, where would I put this one? Like if I put it here, it ruins the black white, you know? But yeah, there is another shelf. All right, what do I do here? I have my Rick Riordan shelf, you know, looking snazzy, almost fits. And then we have this gap that I can fit my hand in. Now what? That's not even like enough space to put a book, but it's just enough space that it looks annoying. Like there's a shadow. Shadow, there we go. Why? My brother turned it into a phone case slot. Okay, I came up with the solution. I turned them on their sides, these books, the Trials of Apollo series. I'm trying to avoid turning books on their side like that. Uh, because Loki is just not my favorite look, and also I feel like that's better when I'm trying to save space, but also I'm putting some on their side so I can stack things so it looks less awkward than that. But yeah, I turn these on the side so that way I can make or take up more room. So now they fit, shove these boys over here, and this is a hat I got from my friend Kaylee. Hello Kaylee if you're here, uh, and it's supposed to be Nico D'Angelo themed. So yeah, that is my whole Rick Riordan shelf. I guess it fits now. Wonderful. Why are all my nonfiction books pretty much the same color? I don't like that. Here's my nonfiction section. Um, I don't know if this book looks awkward with me displaying the cover because it's like a beat up paperback and it looks weird in the back. Uh, but this is a well-loved book. Have many annotations in there oh no they fell but yeah so I want to display it I just don't know if it looks awkward there but I will put it there for now and perhaps move it if it bothers me okay I moved it uh I don't know if that looks better or worse it kind of bothers me with the sizing here but maybe it looks better maybe still looks a little awkward though but you know whatever important plant content on a different note, I kind of lost motivation to finish my shelves, but now my floor just looks like this. Hello, um, this is so awkward. I'm filming right now, but I'm literally on Zoom. Like, I'm in class. Like, yeah. Um, I keep, like, double-checking to make sure my camera and mic is off. Uh, this feels very wrong, but, like, we're literally doing nothing right now. It's just a bunch of... Uh, black screens with names on it. So yeah, um, update time while I wait for class to start. So don't mind me just sitting on my bed. Um, so I filmed a video before finishing my bookshelf and it has come to my attention that this is like my favorite section, but when I film, I stand right in front of it so you can't see anything. So I'm gonna redo this. I'm gonna move this stuff here all the way to the side so that way I'm not standing in front of it. But yeah, I'm gonna get that started right now during class. I'm gonna stop filming because my professor's talking in my ear right now. So I got absolutely nothing out of that class. Um, that's okay, I cleaned my room a bit. So good thing I paid thousands of dollars to attend that class just so I could clean up the mess of my floor. But here's our update. Oh, ignore the pile of garbage on the floor. Um, that, that seems to be a common phrase in this video. But I moved my Rick Riordan books over here. 
And then down here I have like my Alice Oseman books and I got my cactus. Um, yeah, I mean, at first I was trying to organize my books by some kind of way. <laughs> I don't know. Like at first I had my nonfiction section. Um, I have books that are mainly classics, but also just books that are tiny little mass marketed, mass market paperbacks. I feel like I really struggled with that word in this video. And then I have like all these are all these books are by the same author. Um, these two all by the same author, all of my book of the months. Uh, but then I just kind of ran out of ideas or at least ran out of enough books that would fit in the same category. So now they're more just <laughs> randomly on my shelf. Uh, I am kind of losing steam. These This bookshelf thing has been in the process for at least a week now, maybe even two. Um, and my floor is just really hating me right now. I'm down to like the last few piles of books. I don't really know what to do with them. I think I'll just throw them on shelves because like there's nothing else I could really do with them. But my concern, ugh, bending down to the floor, um, is that I have like six shelves that are kind of vacant. And then I have the shelves up here that I can't even reach. So yeah, I don't know what to do with them. I mean, like I didn't intend on filling my shelf because clearly I want room on my shelf if I get new books, but like also the very empty spaces kind of bother me. So I have to figure out something I can put there that I can remove later if I buy new books. But yeah, I guess that is what's left. I'm hoping it won't take me too long because for the millionth time, my room is just so messy. It's it's really getting out of control, so want to finish up this shelf, hopefully today, maybe tomorrow. I just looked in the mirror, and just in case it was obvious when I was filming, um, I must have, like, smeared my eyeliner. Ugh, why does it look like that? So yeah, I'm just acknowledging that now, in case you're like, what is wrong with her face? But now that I'm looking at it, it's not that obvious, so maybe I shouldn't bring it up in the first place. Time to fix it anyways. Y'all, this vlog has been going on for so long. I don't remember what I filmed, where I left off. Basically, I just have this bottom shelf and then this, you can't see it, this bottom shelf. I have run out of books. Um, so yeah, I'm just figuring out what to put there. I have a lot of random knickknacks and stuff. So that will probably be what I shove there. But other than that, I'm almost done. Um, if you're wondering what's going on with my hair, once upon a time when I was bleach blonde platinum, um, I could do so much more with my hair because one, it was cute. And two, it was so dead that I could like do whatever I wanted with it. So I used to make it like really curly by putting it in little tiny buns like this and then putting hairspray. And then I'd take it out after like 10 minutes and it would be like cute and curly and fluffy. If I have a picture, I'll put it on here. But I only had a picture, I think, when I was, it's like a screenshot from when I was playing guitar. But anyways, I'm trying to do it right now with my hair, but something tells me it's not gonna work because my hair is natural now and something tells me my natural hair won't hold little tiny curls, like my dead hair. But I guess that's not really relevant to this video. I just wanted to update you in case you're wondering why I had such a terrible hairstyle right now. So yeah, I'm gonna try to finish this bookshelf project maybe right now, but it's like 11 p.m. and I have to wake up for work. So maybe not, but I'm getting tired of this, man. You know, I'm like losing steam. <laughs> I've literally been filming this for over a month now. It might have even been two months, I'm not sure. Uh, I have all the books on my shelf, but I keep getting more book mail because I ordered all of all of Alice Oseman's books, even though I've read them all, or most of them. But yeah, so I have to figure out a place to put those on my shelf. I have right here my corner of her books, but like now I have more. But yeah, I think it's time to finally wrap up this video. I'm gonna put little, I don't know what you call them, the little command strip things along my shelf so I can put up my lights. But then I'm just ending this video because it's been in my camera roll for way too long. And at this point, I don't think it's changing significantly besides the books that I have ordered. I was gonna put um, like binders, like those 
binders you use for school on, on like the bottom of my shelves because I have a bunch of uh, schoolwork and papers and stuff and I was gonna consolidate them, put them in binders and just put those on my shelves. But I don't think I, room I have room for that. So yeah, I think I'll just put the lights on and call it a day because this video has been going on for way too long. No one told me these would be so hard to maneuver without them clinking together and sounding like they're gonna break. I also don't know how to center these because if I center them, the part where my two lights connect is just like in the center and I don't know if I like that, but guess we'll see. That is ugly. I don't know what to do, but it's ugly. I don't like it. I think I'm calling it done. It's a little awkward with the lighting because uh, there's like three little bulbs here, but the lights go all the way down here. Ignore my pile of yarn there, but yeah, I think it'll it'll do because if I make the lights more even on the sides, then the thing that connects the two strands is just awkwardly in the middle and I don't think I like that. So yeah, I'm just gonna leave it as is for now. If it really bothers me while I'm filming videos, then I'll change it, but yeah, I think it's good for now. And that is the end of this video, I guess. I think it looks fine, even with the awkward lights in the back. I don't know. Let me know if anyone has any strong opinions, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, I've been filming this over so many weeks, months, whatever, that I'm just hoping all of the clips will be somewhat cohesive. I mean, probably not, since they're just a bunch of random clips, but hopefully this video isn't trash, but if not, I mean, at least I got this done. So yeah, that's, that's all I got. All right, thanks for watching. See you next video. I should really remove this really, really ugly piece of pottery I made when I was a kid, but I'm kind of attached to it.